Welcome back to Epic Sundays. I'm Dan the Man and we are from Influencers Church. This program, we create a video every week. And And in three, two, one. Welcome back to Epic Sundays. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm Dan the Man. And I'm Amazing Amira. Woohoo! Well, in today's episode, you will get a chance to sing. You're going to learn an incredible Bible story. And we have some fun in store for you. Stay tuned. Let's jump in. Snickers bar on the way. You're all good. Hey guys, it's Amazing Amira, and I actually have a story for you guys today. But before I get into the story, I actually want to tell you guys about a certain situation that happened to me in my life. So, about some time ago, I had these toys. I had a whole bunch of toys that my mom brought for me, and my dad bought them for me, and you know, I'd always play with them because, you know, they were mine. They were my toys. I love these toys. They're my favorite. And I know that you guys have a special toy. So if you do have a special toy, I want you to go grab it right now and keep it next to you for this story. Yeah, so I'll give you some time to grab it. You can go get it. I'll just wait. You can go get it. Get it. 
Okay, do you have your toy now? Awesome. Okay, so I had this toy that my mom bought for me, but I also had another friend, and they would always take my toys whenever I wanted to play with them. So I would always get angry, and I'd yell at them, and I'd say, give it back. But, you know, my mom would always tell me, no, 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 just let them play with the toy and go get another one. So now that you know that story, I actually want to tell you about a very, very important person in the Bible, and his name is Isaac. He went through a similar situation with them. So, Isaac lived in this area where he had these wells, but the people around his area filled his wells up with dirt, so now he had no more clean water. He was not able to drink water and feed himself and bathe, so he actually had to move on to another area. So he realizes that his father actually has this area and he has these wells that he can actually go to. So he goes to these wells and he starts digging up and finding water, you know, he's happy, but then someone else comes up to him and says, uh, you actually can't have this because this is my land. And I was actually standing there like, hmm, what am I supposed to do? Like, uh, you know what? It's okay. Have it. It's fine. So after Isaac finds out he can't use that land, he actually walks away and he goes, you know what, I'm just going to dig up and make some other wells somewhere else. So he goes to another area and he digs up these wells and he's able to have water and clean supply of his own. Now, the purpose of me telling you the story is to tell you that even when you're in a hard time or when you're in a fight or you feel like something's yours or someone's messing with you, the key thing to do is to always just walk away. Just walk away and don't engage in the fight and create an area of peace. And I say that because if you have peace, then there's no problem. If there's no problem, then everything's okay. So now, I just know that if you have a toy and if you have anything that's yours and someone else wants to play with it, just let them. Let them have it. Let them play with it. And then, because you always get it back later, you can always get more or anything. So you grab that from them and you have that later for yourself. So, yeah. Dang, I kind of, it was so good until the last part. I kind of messed it up. But David can just cut that out. You know? You, uh, sorry, I wasn't. Yeah, no, I was just saying, like, I'm just going to do the purpose of that story part again. Okay, go so, for it. The purpose of me telling you the story is because I just want you to know that whenever anything's happening to you or like when something's yours or you feel like you need to keep something and someone else has it, just let them use it and walk away from the fight just like Isaac did. He walked away multiple times because then in the end he found more and more just for himself. So let someone else have that toy. Let someone else have that blanket that you have because in the end you always get it back and you always get more. God will bless you with peace and God will bless you with amazing things in the end. So make sure you subscribe, you like, and you enjoy today's episode. I gotta be honest, it's easy to think about peace as a bubble. Ignoring the world so that you can chill out and get a little you time. Or, or maybe you think of peace as a simple agreement. You do your thing, I do mine. Then we don't have to worry about each other's problems or the ways we're different from each other. Or you might see peace as a big, grand thing. General, this treaty officially ends all wars. But true peace doesn't look like any of that. True peace is messy. It takes hard work and creativity. It says, how can I listen to you first before I speak? It says, how can I learn what it's like to walk in your shoes before I try to fix it? How can we get creative to find a way through? See, when you do the hard work of making peace, others can see God at work in you. That's why making peace is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship, it's about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud.
the Philistines insulted Isaac when they sailed right in and took over his wells, causing him to move three different times. Truth is, Isaac had a right to be angry, and he knew he was strong enough to crush the Philistines. But Isaac also knew that he could make peace simply by digging another well. And in the end, the Philistines made a peace treaty with Isaac. Being strong doesn't mean you have to fight. And making peace doesn't make you weak. Think of Jesus. He was stronger than any of us. But he allowed himself to be arrested and put to death on a cross so he could make peace with all of us once and for all. You're not weak when you make peace. When you choose to hold your temper and stay calm instead of losing it, you show others how strong you really are. So here's the one thing to remember today. You can show you care about others by walking away from a fight. Don't get me wrong. There are definitely times to stand up for yourself and to stand up for other people. A grown-up you trust can help you know when. But sometimes, the best way to build a bridge to someone else is to walk away. Look at this. Ta-da! Isn't it a thing of beauty? See, building this helped me just calm down a bit. I don't even care about getting revenge. I just want to enjoy the game. Go team, go! Walk away, win! Yeah! Woo? No, that doesn't feel right. That's for off the field. See you next time.